Good evening, my friends, and welcome to the hills of Maplewood. As always, it is a delight of mine to come to you from these special and unique places that I come across out here in the hills of Maplewood. This evening, I have wandered a fair distance back into the hills of Maplewood, and I've come across uh, an old tractor that sits out here in the middle of a field. It is seeing the better days, and uh, it's kind of uh, just a monument that uh, sits here and reminds us of the work that these older tractors did for us. I know we are on the 1st of September, and uh, we're moving so quickly through the summer months, and this weekend is Labor Day weekend. Some of you might even be venturing out to the Minnesota Steam Threshers reunion, where uh, you can reminisce about days gone by with older equipment that was used then and, and such. And so uh, I thought, you know what, it's appropriate that I come to this spot and to recognize uh, this old tractor as, uh, as we think about uh, the Labor Day weekend and as we get ready and move into our harvest seasons and such. But outside of that, I wanted to come to you with a, with a devotion this evening um, that is about encouraging. Encouragement that uh, we receive from one another, encouragement that we may give to one another, and how important that is in our everyday lives. And so I'd like to read for you this evening from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 9 through 11, and it reads like this. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Now, my friends, I come to you this evening thanking you for the words of encouragement, the words of comfort and peace that you may share with, with each other, with me, as, uh, as we move through each and every day, as we move through trying to fulfill the ministries that God has placed before us. I began these devotionals about three years ago, or a little over three years ago, and it was about at that time a dear friend of ours began to send out words of encouragement every day in a text. Oh yes, every day, almost can set your clock by him. There is a text that will come onto my phone, and in my phone, as I read it, is words of encouragement. And I'd like to share one of those with you this evening, and it reads like this. A meaningful life is not being rich or being popular. It is not being highly educated or being perfect. It is about being real, being humble, being able to share ourselves and to touch the lives of others. Many of you have touched my life, and I thank you for that. Through those words of encouragement, those words of comfort and peace, and then God calls us in this text that I read to you that we are to therefore encourage one another, build each other up, just as in fact that you are doing. So my friends, I thank you for that. And I thank you for building up and encouraging and loving those around you, which is what God calls us to do. So my friends, God's peace, God's blessings to you 
on this day from the hills of Maplewood. Amen. When it's all been said and done There is just one thing that matters Did I do my best to live for truth? Did I live my life for you? When it's all been said So oh.